When we look in the book of Acts, in the first and second and third chapters, you will see that we are building up to the declaration that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. When you get to the third chapter, Jesus is the Son of God. All right? When you look at the New King James Version, you will see that they have taken the word son away and they call him merely a servant. And it's interesting if you follow that Greek word through the Bible, there are other places where that very Greek word is used and the New King James and the New Translations all translate it son, but they wouldn't give Jesus Christ credit for being the son there. Um, the New King James does some other very interesting things I found when I was collating it. Whenever they make a change from the King James Bible, they follow the New World Translation of the Jehovah Witnesses. An example would be um, John 14 and all the other places where the Holy Ghost is called the Comforter. Now a Comforter is superior to me. If someone can comfort me, I must be subordinate and they must be superior. Right? Okay. And God is always superior. Right? Now, in the New King James, they have adopted the Jehovah Witness rendering of the Helper. That's always been what the Jehovah Witness sect has called the Holy Spirit because they believed that the Holy Spirit was subordinate to man. He was not a part of the Trinity. He was me merely a helper. And so it's sad to see that the New King James has um, moved on to that mode of thinking. Okay, now, in Christianity, our our uh, faith is unique in that we have a risen Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, rose from the dead and he ascended into heaven. Uh, in John 16, he prophesied ahead and he says, because I go to the Father. In other words, he prophesied that he was going to ascend uh, and be with his Father. That very last phrase is omitted in all the new versions. And you will see as you follow through some of these examples on this page that every chance they get, when they're talking about the resurrection or the ascension, they either omit it or they question it in a footnote. For instance, in Luke 24, uh, verse 51, one of the most important verses in the Bible, it says, Jesus was parted from them, carried up into heaven, and they worshipped him. Okay, so we have him going up, and we have the people down there worshipping him. In other words, he must have been God because the uh, commandment says, you know, worship God only. Okay. In the new versions, it merely says he parted from them. You know, we have the Mormon theology that he went to America, took a boat. Uh, we have the New Age philosophy that says he went to the Himalaya Mountains and he's been staying there for the last 2,000 years and will come out as Maitreya the Christ. So the New American Standard Bible, which is this is a sample of, agrees exactly. As a matter of fact, I have some quotations from some of the New Agers where they're quoting this and they will point to this and they will say, see, he didn't go up to heaven, he went to the Himalaya mountains. But we know they worshipped him because he was God and he went up to heaven. Um, another example would be Ephesians 5. Uh, now that he has ascended up to heaven, the bodily resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, it says, for we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones. That is the bodily resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? He said to Thomas, you know, spirit hath not flesh and bones like this, feel me. Okay? The new versions merely say we are members of his body. They omit flesh and bones because many of the new version translators do not believe in the bodily resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and the people who created the Greek text underlying this do not either. So. Okay, I'll give you a brief summary of what we've looked at here, um, what we're going to be looking at. The King James Version says, Jesus, thou son of God, Jesus. The new version say, you, son of God, or he, dropping the name Jesus. Every time we see a usage referring to the Lord Jesus Christ, the new versions will always make it smaller or demote the Lord Jesus Christ in one degree. If it does say Jesus Christ, they'll drop it to Christ. Or the Lord Jesus Christ, they'll drop it to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus. It's always one step down. 